you are definitely going to want to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to be answering a bunch of frequently asked questions and questions that you guys have had about astral projection. So please stick around to the end of the video and get those questions answered. Hey guys! I love that intro music so much guys. I just want to dance to it. The funny thing is, is that there's not actually intro music in the background. I have to put it in the video whenever I edit it. So now you really know how silly I am, but I do always love the intro music. It's kind of cool. It's called Dream. I'll put a link to it at the bottom of the uh, description. But thank you guys so much. I'm here to do my second video and you guys were so awesome with my first video. All the love and support. I cannot thank you guys enough. And I am so excited about today's topic. It is all about astral projection. Astral projection is also known as an OBE, which is an out of body experience and some people relate it to lucid dreaming. So what is it? What's the science behind it? What are some techniques that you guys can do if you want to try it? And frequently asked questions about it. Cause I know for me, I was completely skeptical about astral projection. I had only heard about it right when I started my whole spiritual journey, but then I just got so obsessed about reading about it because it was absolutely amazing. And I couldn't believe that all of these people were lying or that I had never had an experience like that. Um, so just to get you started, what is astral projection? I'm going to read it straight out of Wikipedia for you. Astral projection is a term used in esotericism to describe an intentional out-of-body experience or OBE that assumes the existence of a soul or conscience called an astral body that is separate from the physical body and capable of traveling outside throughout the universe. That's about what it was for me. Okay, so like I said, astral projection for me was something that I found when I was really going through this spiritual journey. Um, as most of you guys know, I lost my grandmother a few months ago and I started reading a whole lot of soul books, near death experiences, life after death, where does our soul go, you name it, I read it. And it was so amazing and it really, really put me in this place of complete awe. And I really hope that you guys are going to get that same thing out of this journey. I had no idea this is something that anybody can do. You don't have to have a special place to do it. Well, kind of, but you don't have to have special training to do it. And it's completely mind blowing. And if you don't believe me, that's okay. There was no one more skeptical about it than I was. So all I can do is say, try it for yourself. Okay. So astral projection, what is it? I'm going to get a little comfortable here. Um, I made some notes, so sorry if I have to keep looking down. Astral projection from as far back as I can find, and I read a couple different books about it, kind of the founder and father of it was a man named Robert Monroe. He was born in 1915. He was a very, very intelligent man, amazing man, and he has changed so many things about the way we think about the brain and dreams and things like that. Um, sometime and I can't remember exactly when he started doing it, but he started having these out of body experiences and he couldn't explain it. He was a very successful man. He owned a couple of different radio stations and broadcasting companies and he kind of kept it to himself because he was like, I think I might be going crazy or maybe I have schizophrenia. Um, during these out of body experiences, he was able to uh, visit other dimensions. He was able to see people that had passed away. He was able to receive messages about life, love, where we came from, and just these very profound messages that were amazing. He, you know, created this institute called the Robert Monroe Research Institute, Institute, and even though he passed away in 1995, that institute, institute is still here today and is giving us all of this information and scientific uh, backgrounds and experiments about astral projection and OBEs. Robert Monroe wrote a few different books before he passed away in 1995. Three of those books that I read were called Journey Out of the Body. Great reads, guys. Tons of information, tons of scientific proof behind it. The other one was called Far Journeys, and the last one that he wrote was Ultimate Journey. And like I said, amazing, amazing books. He also created something called, I don't want to get this wrong, he, it's called the Hemi Sync Technology. It's also known as Benerial Beats. It stands for Hemispheric Synchronization. 
It's a brainwave synchronization, also known as venereal beats. It uses two different sounds on both sides of your ears that come together in your pineal gland to create a whole nother sound that is conducive for OBEs or having out of body experiences or astral projections. Part of my technique, I'll go into that in a little bit more. Okay, so astral projection is when your physical body separates from your spiritual or astral body. Um, that usually happens when someone is in a really deep relaxation state right before you fall asleep. So there is definitely techniques to catch it so that your body goes to sleep and your mind or astral body kind of has its own experience. I think about it as our brain being a filter for our soul, our consciousness. Um, everything that we do in this physical body filters through our brain. So we gotta kind of shut that part of it off a little bit and kind of get our body to go through that stage where it shoots out that hormone or whatever it is that kind of paralyzes our body so that we're not like woo woo and jogging in our sleep and things like that. So it kind of uh, paralyzes. Some of us call that sleep paralysis. And if you don't know what sleep paralysis is, it can be super scary. But if you understand exactly what it is, it's just your body trying or your body putting something into your system to kind of paralyze you. So when you're dreaming, you're not beating the heck out of the person laying next to you or yourself. You don't get hurt. So. That is pretty much in a nutshell what astral projection is. Now, the science behind it, super cool. Tons of books out there. Uh, like I said, I definitely recommend Robert Monroe and I'll put some things in the links. Um, the Bioneural Beats. For me, meditation was key. And guys, let me tell you, I, do you hear how fast I talk? You guys have seen my shows. Can you see this thing? Like, um, Come on, I can't shut the gotta, 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 gotta out of my head. It's super duper hard and for years I couldn't grasp meditation. And a big reason why I couldn't grasp meditation was because there's so much misinformation out there or I'm just a very unique individual that couldn't get it. So I ended up finding this thing called trans, let me see if I can say it right, transcendental meditation voila and i will make a whole video about that since i found transcendental meditation i have been able to meditate so great and guys i started with five minutes a day so we can give ourselves five minutes a day we deserve that and i promise you the benefits of it are amazing so the scientific so that is definitely part of this journey start meditating start learning how this and that i don't think it's a definite you gotta learn how to do it in order to astral project, but it definitely makes it easier. So it's up to you. So the scientific proof behind it, there's Robert Monroe. There's another man, astounding, astounding experiments and um, scientific backing behind astral projection. His name is Dan Freysonet. He's been doing it for the last 20 years. He created a team of researchers and scientists to study him, amazing. Listen guys, a lot of people think that astral projection is just a dream. There's not a whole lot of scientific proof behind it. But here's the thing, it's because they can't really prove it, you can't video it, like you're laying down asleep. Whatever your astral body's doing, like how do you record that? So it's been really hard for scientists to not just dismiss it as a dream. So maybe it is a dream, maybe it's not a dream. I don't know, but I can tell you that I found some pretty compelling evidence doing it and reading about it that can make you think otherwise. So I hope in the years to come or months to come, who knows if this becomes a bigger talk, topic and people really try it, just try it. What, is it. what does it matter if you just try it? So anyway, this guy, Dan, got a whole research team together, found other people who could astral project easily and started doing experiments. Some of the experiments, I'll, I'll list a couple, was they asked the person to astral project to their local mall to find a place at the mall that was easy for someone else to, to um, document and to describe the weather, to describe the vehicles that were parked in the parking lot, and to describe any license plates or anything specific that could prove that he was seeing something while he was astral projecting. He was able to go into an astral, pro astral project and came back, listed 60% of the license plates correctly, I don't think I could remember even my own license plate, 
got 80% of the um, makes and models of the vehicles, the, the exact location to where at the mall they were parked. Like it was pretty profound stuff. Another one of um, the experiments they did, uh, the person that Astro projected was able to create a uh, dream or whatever you want to call it where they were playing with their, their five-year-old daughter. The next day, the daughter actually spoke about the exact games that they, they um, played. And it, this is all documented. Uh, what was another one that was really, oh, this is this one was so profound. They took 10 people in the, uh, their, the comfort of their own homes. They asked her projected and they hid five things that meant something. It could have been a necklace or their wedding ring in their house. They were to astral project and come back and tell them where those five things were hidden. And they were able to tell where all five things were hidden in their house without leaving their bed. So maybe it's a dream. Maybe it's tapping into a part of our brain that's very intuitive, very, very high conscious, psychic, whatever it is. I don't know, but it's pretty awesome. So I started reading about it. I got really, really interested in it and actually did it the backwards way, which I will create a video after this to explain my exact technique for doing this and how I was able to do it accidentally on my first try. Then I'll get into that story. So that is pretty much the definition of astral projection, the science that I found behind it. And guys, do your own research and be skeptical. I was like, yeah, right. But the more I started reading about near death experiences, and thousands and thousands of people explaining how they kind of saw the same thing. They would separate from their body and then they would go to this other dimension. They would usually see someone right away that they knew and loved that would kind of like help them to calm down and not be so scared. They would then go to this place, this other, like I said, dimension, and they would have what's called a life review and almost every single of the thousands and thousands and thousands of documented cases all over the world these people do not know each other said the same thing about this life review they were able to see how they impacted people's lives greatly what their sole purpose was what they came in to their souls to accomplish and how they did with absolutely no judgment they all explained there's not one person that I've ever read that came back from a near-death experience that wanted to come back it did not matter how many kids they had it didn't matter anything because it was such a beautiful, loving place. They didn't want to leave. So that really got me thinking about OBEs and out-of-body experiences. And did you have to have a near-death experience to experience that? Because it sounded pretty magical. And like I said, I had just lost my grandmother and I heard that you could connect with loved ones who had passed over by doing astral projection. And if you watched my first video, you know that I was able to do that. And in my next video, I will go into that into a little bit more detail, but guys, I didn't want to get too personal on my first video because I already was really nervous about making this, but thanks to all the love and support and even the comments that were like, be careful, you're kind of getting into some weird stuff, were loving. And I really appreciate all of the comments and all of the love and support and even the negative comments. I still appreciate that. I'm going to use that stuff to, to grow. But that's how I was able to, or I'm going to explain how that's how I was able to do it. So lastly. Before I go ahead and start videoing my next video, which is how to astral project today. You could do it today. I will teach you how to do it today the same way I was taught how to do it. And um, that is frequently asked questions because my goodness, I had a lot of them. And I'm gonna go through some of the ones that I actually got in the last couple of days that I wrote some of them down because they were the same ones that I had. The first question that I got asked was, and the first question that I had was, what if I can't come back to my body? Like, what if I get lost in another dimension if I really can travel to another dimension? And the answer to that is a, it's a great question. And I, I had it too, is it's not possible. Death is the only thing that can permanently separate you from your astral body. Matter of fact, I have been able to turn around and see myself sleeping. And it's like this string that's connected to me, to my body. I, I compare it to Christmas lights. Some people compare it to a fishing line that kind of glows. People see it differently. Some people don't see it at all. I have been able to see it a few times and it's almost like a, a string of Christmas lights. Um, and listen, I'll be completely honest. Getting back to your physical body isn't the problem. You think about your physical body, you get too nervous, you get too excited, you're gonna fall right back into your body and be so disappointed or completely mind blown of what you just experienced. It's staying out for 
that amount of time to do everything that you wanted to do, that is the hardest because we always want to think about our bodies or listen, it's mind blowing. I can only tell you to try it. So you could get a little nervous and scared like I have and you're just gonna fall right back into your body, wake up and just be like, darn it. Or the cat walks across your face or your husband stops, starts snoring. But we'll get into all those techniques later. But that is the answer to that first question. The next question that I got was, I did it, but I could barely see in the dark. And this happened to me in the beginning. I was watching all these videos and people were talking about how the colors were just amazing. And I was seeing like this gray, dark, barely could see in the dark when I first did it my first couple times. And someone told me to just say clarity, awareness, clarity, set an attention for awareness and clarity. And I was able to see just like it was daytime at nighttime, it, it was kind of strange. It actually threw me back in my body because I was like, whoa, darn it. Gotta try it again. Next questions. Can, oh, this question drives me crazy guys because I don't even, I didn't really want to answer this question because Thankfully for me, of all the research that I did about astral projection, I never read about this stuff. So I was so glad I never went into it with this fear that I hope that doesn't I don't cause by answering this question. Can demons, aliens, or negative entities hurt me? Okay, I can only tell you about my experience. There are people out there that say there's these negative entities or spirits or ghosts that um, they'll hear or see and it scares them and this and that and they're like can they cut my cord and make me not go back into my body can they take my soul can they go into can their spirit go into your body and let me explain a spirit could probably go into your physical body but this is not your physical body this is your astral body nothing can touch your astral body except for death itself and that will separate your astral body to wherever it is that we go I'll be very clear on this if you see anything bad cancel it done go back to your body think about your body you're gonna go right back to your body I have never had that experience it has been beautiful and profound every single time now I will tell you there's this part of the process of going into an astral projection where you kind of go through this vibrational stage and you can kind of hear things like you're, you'll hear like kind of sounds like a jet engine and I'll go into that in more detail but this one time it wasn't the jet engine it was like this eerie evil like laugh it was so weird that it almost scared me where i was like wait i'm not going into the astral projection like what the heck's that over on the other side for me that was the best one i ever took i saw nothing negative i have no idea who knows what our pineal gland creates that's where the sounds are coming from um in that vibrational stage and i will tell you that i did hear like an evil <laughs> can't even do it it's like a, like a deep <laughs> and I was like whoa wait do I want to go yes I do and it was it was beautiful it was magical um last question I have and guys if you have any more questions please comment below I can do a live q and I can answer more questions on the next video probably not the next video because I'm getting ready to record that one now but any questions you guys have I will be happy to answer them if you don't want to ask them on YouTube then don't worry I totally understand message me no problem all right, last one. Oh, actually there's two more. Sorry about that. Uh, I heard that astral projection can create a fear of death. Couldn't be more false. Astral projection for me actually took away any fear of death that I had ever had. It's, able, it's been able to heal some serious grief that I've had of letting go of my grandmother, but I'm not scared of death. I know without a shadow of a doubt that whether you call it heaven or whatever, I am going somewhere beautiful after this physical body passes away. And the last question that I got from a lot of people is, if I do astral projection, am I going against my religion, sinning and things like that? And listen guys, I can only tell you my experience. I can't tell anyone else what to do, but I know for me, it solidified my relationship with my God. It brought on a whole new faith and a whole new belief in a whole new world to be exact and it's been a beautiful journey for me I, I can say that a million times but until you do it for yourself they are there are actual scriptures in the Bible that talk about leaving your body there are all kinds of scriptures in the body in the in the Bible about all kinds of stuff and we'll get into things like that too 
but this has been a practice that was many, 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 many thousands of years before Christ. And I and it was written about in the Bible also. And I can for any of you guys that want to know the actual scriptures, I will be happy, happy, happy to give those to you. So that's that. Oh, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I'm so excited of all the people that did subscribe. And just to show you a token of my appreciation, every video that I post, I will be selecting one winner, someone who subscribed. That's all you have to do for this video is just subscribe and look on the very first comment of this video. And one lucky person is going to win a $25 Amazon gift card. I will be posting another video tomorrow. Same thing, guys. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Show that love. Like it if you liked it. And even comment on it if you have any questions. I will answer you. And I will be giving the next person a $25 Amazon gift card, Visa card, Walmart card. I don't know. I might change it up a little bit. But guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love. I really look forward to you guys watching my next video, which is all about the techniques and how you can do astral projection right away. I'm then going to be doing a video on transcendental um, meditation because it's changed my life and it's super easy. And I truly believe if I can meditate, anybody can meditate. But the most important thing and the most important message that I have for you guys today is that if no one has told you they love you today guys I love you truly deeply with all my heart Mwah. bye guys